Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about uh, Can you learn Jira? So yesterday I was actually traveling um, in a train and uh, someone actually looked at my t-shirt. This is my big bucket t-shirt that I usually wear and he was uh, uh, quite interested in asking me uh, do I work for Bitbucket? He knew what Bitbucket is. He also knew about uh, GitHub and he was asking me that Bitbucket is definitely uh, a competitor. Then we both uh, got into a conversation and uh, he started asking me whether he can learn Jira or not because he's not really for from tech, from a technical background. So this is something that a lot of people actually ask me that is it really easy for a non-technical person, someone who has never really worked in uh, a software software industry or IT industry as uh, uh, someone who is uh, probably not really into a development profile. So I thought I'll probably uh, make a video and in, and in this video I want to talk about uh, uh, can you be a Jira administrator? Can you learn Jira? So first of all, we need to understand uh, uh, what all you can do with Jira. And if you want to learn Jira, there are different type of Jira skills, in my opinion. So first of all, you need to know what is Jira as a Jira user. So if you can use Jira uh, without any admin rights, if you know if you know the tool, if you know the purpose of the tool, if you know how, if you basically know about uh, uh, different Atlassian applications. If you have some basic idea, basic understanding of uh, what Jira is, what are different types of applications, and uh, you can probably work on the tool as a user. I think that is uh, a very good start uh, in the beginning. You should know how to raise a ticket. You should know what is a project. You should know how to work on uh, your issues, your activities, your tasks, and even if you want to talk about uh, Jira uh, usage as a user, there are so many things that you can do. You can not only work on Jira, you can also create reports, you can also create dashboards, you can search for the information. So first of all, you need to learn how to use the tool as a user. Then uh, there is uh, a thing called uh, project administration. So people who are usually responsible for managing a project, maybe they have a team and if your company is already using Jira and they are, they are also using um, some kind of uh, hierarchy where you have maybe a team of people and there is a lead, there is probably uh, uh, someone who is responsible for managing the project. So there is something called as uh, project admin. And project admin rights are more or less same as the normal Jira user, but they do have some additional rights uh, that 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 is more applicable on the project only. Then comes your Jira administration. And usually Jira administration is uh, something where you will be expected to customize the tool. So when it comes to customization, it is all about uh, making the tool adapt uh, to your requirements. So, so the, in my opinion, the most powerful feature or the most important aspect of uh, Jira is the customization. You don't need, really need to adapt uh, to use a tool. The tool can be modified, the tool can be customized, and it can basically work for you. So as a Jira administrator, you need to know or you should know how to customize the tool, how to make it work for uh, uh, your 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 organization for your teams and there are different things that you can do with Jira admin skills you can just uh, modify the tool customize it and you can also install and configure different apps or add-ons and when it comes to apps when it comes to add-ons there are so many add-ons there are thousands of add-ons that you can potentially use but you should have uh, a good understanding of uh, some common apps or add-ons. So we talked about Jira, Jira usage as a Jira user. Then we talked about uh, Jira project administration. Then we talked about Jira administration. 
and on top on the very top or i, I shouldn't use the word top but uh, if you are thinking about uh, the levels the uh, last level is probably jira system administration and those people are usually responsible for uh, installing the application on the on the server making sure that application is upgraded from uh, time to time and uh, these people may also be required to probably know some kind of a scripting uh, maybe sometimes they need to tweak the tool so these are i would say four different type of skills uh, if you want to know whether you can uh, learn jira or not then uh, depending upon your uh, background based on uh, whether you have some technical skills or not you can definitely uh, learn jira usage you can definitely learn how to administer a project and i would also say that you can also be a jira administration uh, you, jira administrator because when it comes to jira administration most of the things can be done from the ui it's all click based of course you are, i mean if you have some experience about uh, the uh, you know software development or maybe if you know how uh, jira is used in um, in a context of uh, development then that is definitely helpful but if you have the interest if you re really want without any technical background you can i think uh, you can be a jira administrator but it is really up to you if you think uh, you want to start somewhere i would say just uh, go to atlassian.com evaluate the cloud version of uh, jira and there are so many tutorials a lot of documentation that you can probably find uh, on uh, the internet you can go to the atlassian website they have plenty of uh, documentation but in the beginning if you want to keep things simple just evaluate cloud and uh, start uh, creating some projects it is not very difficult when you when you sign up for a cloud instance it is uh, very intuitive i think jira is very intuitive tool but the cloud version is uh, even more user friendly and if you are thinking of learning jira maybe to add a new skill set to your profile or maybe if you are uh, interested in learning jira because maybe you want to use it in your company or maybe you have a startup company and you think jira is the right tool then you can probably purchase uh, a 10 dollar uh, jira instance uh, that is of course for server but even the cloud version is uh, quite cheap for a few users so just give it a try and uh, uh, i'm sure you can learn jira if you really want so i hope this um, video was useful thank you very much